time now for a check in with what's hot with what's with Joe Breezy. Yeah, there's what? a lot in the mix. It is hot outside. <laughs> it's like 70 degrees. It, it's 70 degrees. Yes. It's very hot outside. Right. That that intro was rough, but we'll start over. Welcome in, it's friend. Vintage. Yeah, yeah it's totally. Vintage. Um, shout out to Mother Nature. Speaking yes. of, it is hot outside. 70 degrees. Oh my gosh, it's fabulous. Oh, we'll take it. I, I haven't know. stepped outside we yet. We need to do the outdoor like patio in the mix kind of vibe thing. Okay, Let's I hear a request. That. Let's work on that. Uh, speaking of Mother Nature, we got to shout out Cheekwood because they just kicked off their sixth year of orchids in the mansion. Now we all know how beautiful and mesmerizing Cheekwood is all year long. Seriously. And of course, this is going to be right, right up there with it. Now, orchids are in full season right now. They're so colorful. They grow, they grow on trees, planters. They're draped among foliage and all that. Um, and of course, as an aspiring stay-at-home plant dad with no kids, I can speak on this. Yes, yes you can. Yes, big deal. So this runs through March 10th. It just kicked off a few days ago. 25 bucks for adults, members, and free, of course. Uh, I love Cheekwood. I know. It Shout really out is. to Peter Grimaldi. We're big fans of him. Yes, all the things. No yes. doubt. Now, we love helping our fellow neighbors and community members, of course, here in Nashville and on Local On 2. Now, one of our musical sisters, Vicki Reed, is no exception. So check this out. I just found her story. So her and her husband, Tony, are big advocates for the music scene here. Now, Vicki is like a big staple, playing at bars and pubs and mm -hmm. venues around town for like decades here. So unfortunately, she was diagnosed with cancer in November after finding a lump in her breast and has not been able to hold down a job, like a day job since, right? Mm -hmm. Well, fast forward to tomorrow, and they're throwing a benefit concert for her to raise money, and it's a Pat Benatar tribute. It's going to be so much fun. It's at East Side Bowl. A handful of great musicians from right here in Nashville are performing. And again, it's all for a great cause to help Vicki, and it's just good people helping good people, and it's the Nashville way, you know? I love that we're talking about breast cancer even outside of the month of October. Exactly, because mm -hmm. it is a year-long a year -long battle, yeah, for exactly. sure, no doubt. Um, all right, so switching gears a little bit here in the pop news and hot gossip, uh, you know, topic, I guess. So we talked about Beyonce and her song, her country song, Texas yeah. Hold'em. Mm -hmm. And some people didn't think it was country enough, or is it country, even though it's Beyonce? Well, the debate is totally over with the serious <laughs> yeah. mic drop, because Beyonce has just become the first woman to debut on number one, or to debut number one on both the country Hot 100 charts and R&B charts. Now, her song continues to skyrocket and is touching so many people in different formats. Obviously, it's blown up. Like, mm -hmm. it is everywhere. It's pretty remarkable to see. So whether it's country or not, it does not matter what it the doesn't. haters think because uh, clearly it's country enough to make it to number one on the country charts. Yeah, I mean, and it's all over. It's it all is. over social media. It is, yes. for sure, you know. So. Reels, TikToks, yes. All the things. So Queen Bee, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. <laughs> Beehive, yes. <laughs> Happy for you, though. That's amazing. No doubt. So, of course, no day would be complete or wouldn't be complete without talking about Travis, you know. Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey, right? A few quick updates. Thank you for asking about this. <laughs> so The Sun says that Travis recently surprised her upon her re uh, arrival in Australia for her heiress tour. Now, she was greeted with a $2,100 bouquet and a $3,100 rose sculpture. He also got her an $1,100 beret and a $5,000 handbag. What kind of handbag? I don't know. I should find it out. <laughs> and we should find some knockoffs or something and do a little side hustle online. I that want would be a awesome. real one. Yeah, there you go. Um, I also heard that he's going to be vacationing there with her during her break. They're going to hit the Great Barrier Reef and all that. So, uh, plus he's also setting the stage for like a Hollywood career. So, uh, movie roles, TV shows, commercials, which he's already doing. No big surprise. He does a lot of endorsements already. You see him all over TV, and he does a great job. So, I'm not mad at it at all. What else do you think we're going to see him in? Come on, spill the know. tea, Joe. I don't know. We'll see. I don't we'll know. See? I'll, 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 I'll do some dig. I mean, he can do anything he wants to do now. It's true. Like, it's literally, true. you know? Um, so, uh, American Idol. I know we just had uh, Abby Blake on, which are so excited about her, yes. right? Definitely, uh, she's a local. She'll be competing this Sunday. So, we heard, we talked about this, that the producers are looking to fill Katy Perry's sp slot after she leaves after this season, right? So, rumor has it it's supposed to be J-Lo to bring her back. Some said Shania Twain. That's all good and great and all, but I wanted to, to do some more digging around for you to find out what all the chat is about. And now the chat is about Nashville's own Miley Cyrus looking to replace her. <gasps> yep, so Gossip Ireland says uh, that they're absolutely in talks with her right now. She's a younger superstar. Mm -hmm. People grew up watching her on Hannah Montana, obviously. She's uber successful, all the things. Some senior executives think that she might be a little too risque and not family friendly enough, but I think, I think she's way beyond that. I think she would do an awesome job. She's 
just she's she's gonna crush it. Well, you've seen the way that Dolly has worked with her. I think she would be a great mentor to yes. those hopefuls that are trying out and totally. wanting to win. Yeah, she's well spoken. She has the knowledge. She's been in the game for a long time, from when she was like a little kid, all the way until now. Plus, she's Nashville Nashville's own. So exactly. Give it two Gotta thumbs love up here. Them. Thank you, Joe.